Hey Zen fam, it's me. So, there's been a lot of discussion recently about, you know, the next gen consoles. As is always the case when leading up to a new generation. There's always a lot of hype and excitement and ooh, which is very, very understandable. But you know what I can't wrap my head around? There are already people getting excited about what, apart from what's inside and even what they'll be called, because let's face it, right, we don't really even know what the systems are going to get called. I mean, we can probably assume that PlayStation 5 will be called PlayStation 5 because there's a naming convention and there's a history and all that kind of stuff. But we don't truly know what the next Xbox is going to be called, let alone the fact whether or not there'll be multiple SKUs. I mean, I have said there'll be... I have guessed there might be multiple SKUs of PlayStation 5. But I never thought about that for for Xbox. Although I considered it may be a similar idea. Because a lot of these companies do think on similar lines. I mean, they look at the markets, they look at what's happening, they try to imagine where it's going, and they act accordingly. Or at least they hope they do. So, we don't technically know that the sad edition is going to be called that. That's just a rumour. It's speculation. And we all know Sony's line. We do not comment on rumour and speculation. So, we've already got people losing their minds, absolutely living in La La Land, and I've seen discussions in videos and on podcasts of who will win the next gen. I'm like, what? <laughs> what are you on about? Who would... How can you even discuss who will win the next gen when we're not even in it? Seriously, think that through for a second. Right? I'm going to talk about this thing that doesn't exist yet and talk about who's actually going to win the thing. I mean, for all we know, Google will come out with something and rule, rule everything, and then that'll be it. Or maybe, you know, Nintendo will do something else again. You just don't know, okay? It is an unknowable situation. So to try and pontificate, mew, pontificate, about who's going to win the next gen is beyond pointless. It really is. Okay? But if you want my honest opinion, right, considering that, like, the two companies will be looking at everything that's going on and trying to figure out everything that might happen, and considering that, like, you know, both systems are getting closer and closer to being PC-like, you know, with their architecture and their, all the rest of it and how you control them and the guts of the machines then you know I think I think it'll be so tight that it'll be virtually be a draw and the only way that you can say one company or one over another is over different sort of categories of this you'll go well this one had more power I bet this one had more games I bet this one had more this and this one had more there's going to be, I personally believe, right, as far as I can say at the minute, I don't reckon there'll be a clear winner. I really don't. I think that both machines will be so close to each other, and both companies have made mistakes in the past. I mean, Sony learned from PlayStation 3 how not to launch a system. Xbox have had to learn how not to launch a system by the way that they launched Xbox One. Now they've done a lot to bring Xbox back. I mean, Game Pass and all the rest of it, dropping the TV functionality, discontinuing the uh, the Kinect camera. Although admittedly, there are guys like Big Kahuna that love the Kinect camera, and it does have its uses. So it's a bit of a shame that it's not around for some people anymore. But you know, Microsoft have taken lessons and they've learned, and they intend to apply these things. So. With all the various things like online capabilities and you know, streaming and whatever else you care to throw into the pot, 
I think both companies are going to be watching each other so closely and trying to figure out what the market wants so deeply that I think by the time you, let's say, we're talking seven years from now, and they'll end up doing whatever it is they do next, which will probably not be a box, you know, like what we have now and what we're hopefully going to get soon, you know. Whatever they do will be radically different. That's the only thing we can probably say. And even then we could be wrong. See, this is the thing. We do not know. We have not, as we say here in Scotland, a Scooby. All right? Scooby-Doo. Clue. All right? So, there's, we just, there's no chance. There's no knowing. Both these companies are so secretive and have so many ideas and are probably been playing with umpteen different concepts that we can't possibly know. So, trying to predict a winner in a race that isn't even on yet, officially is ludicrous. It's wasteful. And quite frankly, all it really is when you get right down to it is a dick waggling exercise by fanboys. Is it mine's bigger than yours? No, it's no you both got tiny knobs. <laughs> it's that simple. Alright. Just enjoy the games. Enjoy the hype. Hype's fun! You know? We'll see all kinds of crazy concepts and interesting videos and great conversations. That's awesome. I'm down for that. I am so down for that. But I think we do have to maintain some realism. Right, that's it. Rant over. I shall see you guys in the next video. Uh, as always, please remember to rate favourite. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. One thing before I go. Wingy, you know my mate Wingy Gaming, he's just started a podcast where he's uh, going to be interviewing um, YouTubers of different stripes and different levels but of gamingness and uh, sort of like finding out about the, the creator themselves and the, what makes them game and what makes them produce content and all that kind of stuff so he's like he's going for a complete sort of like interview format type video so if you don't know Wingy Gaming and you know me then get yourself over to Wingy Gaming watch this uh, you, this content it's going to be good stuff the first episode's already up anyway rate, play with comment share subscribe and as always I they bother <laughs>